This motion picture deals with the subject of AIDS and human sexuality. The lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic. We want to identify every person who's a carrier. A rare form of cancer. Failing to respond with the same speed and the same commitment if those persons who are vulnerable to AIDS were in fact a member of another sociological group, sir. Protect these people from themselves. There are a lot of people who have been strongly against the, the gay community. We want to identify every possible way to stop them from, from spreading the disease. The AIDS virus has no civil rights. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome, or AIDS, is unknown and there is no known cure. The deadly disease has been mostly striking homosexual men. And additionally, we are encouraging the states to offer routine testing. Your policy is wrong. Dead wrong. Hudson died in his sleep at nine this morning. My own misfortune has had some positive work. I'm here to speak about a national scandal. A scandal of neglect, indifference, and abandonment. It's like being in a foxhole and you don't know when you're going to get shot down next. Ryan White, a teenager who brought a kid down the street image to the AIDS crisis, was remembered today. Freddie Mercury, the flamboyant frontman of the veteran British band Queen, died Sunday in his West London mansion. He was Liberace, the flamboyant entertainer who died yesterday at his home at 67. I would now become a, a spokesman for the HIV virus. The gay community and IV drug users are not all politicized people living in New York and San Francisco. If it is true that gay men and IV drug users are the populations at risk for this disease, then we have a right to demand that education and prevention be targeted specifically to these people, and it is not happening. We must continue and strengthen our commitment to AIDS research to find effective treatments and a cure. Truvada prevents the HIV virus from multiplying and establishing infection in the body. PrEP is a powerful new tool that has the potential to alter the course of HIV in the United States today. Some people need it at certain times in their lives. Like the pill, you have to take it on a daily basis. The prevention pill is used like contraception when people need it. And we know that even women have trouble remembering to take their daily dose of, of birth control. It's more than just a disease which ignorant people have turned into an excuse to exercise the bigotry they have always felt. It is more than a horror story exploited by the tabloids. AIDS is really a test of us as a people. When future generations ask what we did in this crisis, we're going to have to tell them that we were out here today. And we have to leave the legacy to those generations of people who will come after us. We project the voice of freedom forward beyond ourselves to the youth of today and to the generations of tomorrow. is an HIV prevention strategy where an HIV-negative person takes a daily pill to reduce their risk of contracting HIV. Someday the AIDS crisis will be over. When that day has come and gone, there will be people alive on this earth. Gay people and straight people, men and women, black and white, who will hear the story that once there was a terrible disease in this country and all over the world and that a brave group of people stood up and fought and in some cases gave their lives so that other people might live and be free. meant to prevent HIV from establishing infection. We saw a community form around HIV prevention. And once that happens, people take a variety of steps to protect themselves, not just the pill. A lot of men are not using condoms. We need people to, to, to say that, that um, they're not using condoms consistently um, and that they need other ways of protecting themselves. I think it starts with people asking for what they need and what they want. And their health care providers will eventually listen to that. Taking this pill could be misleading for them, especially if, if we haven't worked out the issues with adherence. We need for HIV to be on the radar screen. We can end HIV transmission 
around the world, starting in cities like Toronto and San Francisco and, and places like that. But it can end around the world, but only if people are willing to put it on the radar screen. screen. And, and once we realize that and accept that, then uh, safety becomes attractive and everyone wants it and uh, we're going to see the end of HIV transmission. But only if we can get over ourselves, even if we can, uh, only if we can get over our anxiety about uh, sexuality. Remember that. Right on.